time for another video that I'm doing in between a couple of other video projects. Now I bought these headphones, um, this headset, a couple of days ago because I needed a, re a replacement pair of headphones and I thought, well, I'll get these because they have a mi microphone on them as well so I can use these as a headset when I'm doing my commentary and everything. The headphones work absolutely fine but when I plug Excuse me a minute, it's a bit difficult doing this one-handed. They have two plugs on the end. One is marked with a little microphone picture. Don't know, you can't really see it because the camera's not focusing. And the other's marked with a headphone symbol. But when I plug them into my tape recorder, there's absolutely no response from the meters at all. Not even if I turn the volume input up as high as it will go, absolutely nothing you can see is registering on the meters there. And I'm pretty sure I know why. So I think that the microphone in here is of the electric condenser type, which is not compatible with standard microphone input, so I'm going to have to make a little adaption cable. Well, first of all, I'm going to need a socket to plug the microphone plug in. And this is the so um circuit board from my iPod dock which I don't use anymore it's got a couple of nice sockets on the end there which I'm going to desolder and use them well I've now desoldered them from the circuit board and you can see that they have a lot of connections on there there's about um, oh, there must be about seven connections on there so now it's the tricky job of uh, actually finding out which connection goes to what so what I'm going to do is just plug a spare audio cable in there and then find out which wire goes to which terminal here. Okay, so firstly, most important, find the ground wire, which I think will be this one right here. If the meter buzzes, we'll know we found it. Mm-hmm. Now just to find the left and right audio cables, which are what they actually connect to. See which the left connects to. It's not that terminal. It's not that one. And there we go. It's that one right there. Don't know if it's connected to any of these ones. doesn't seem to be so there's the left right there and I'll find out which terminal the right connects to which I'm pretty sure will be this one can't really see which one I'm pointing to but I'm pretty sure it'll be this one here okay so that's um found the connections. Well it's a little later on now and I've soldered some um, I've soldered a cable onto this connector. You may be able to notice that I've soldered the left and the right together because as it's only a mono microphone I've also soldered the ground on and put this sleeve here so it doesn't short out. Now the reason why I have um, actually soldered it with the left and the right together is because if we have a look at the if we have a look at the connector that connects the microphone of the headset, you can see that they've used a stereo jack plug there. The left and the right, what would be the left and the right, these are actually connected to the, to the same wire. I don't know why they just didn't use a mono plug for this, but that's why I've soldered this in the same way. Well, here's what's on the other end of that cable. I've, put, I've connected two jack plugs there. You may be able to see that they are stereo ones but that's simply because I don't have any mono ones. And there's also another wire coming out here to a resistor. At least I've used nice wire here. The um the wire I've used the wire I use to solder this is this awful springy stuff that is impossible to bend because as soon as you bend it it just goes right back again but I managed to solder that in. Um 
Now what's going to be connected here is a battery. You may remember this mutilated 9 volt battery that I did um, some time ago. And I'm going to take this terminal off and I'm going to use that to connect the other battery. And that is going to be connected to this to provide power for the microphone. And then we'll be able to test it and see if it works. And there it is. Pretty neat job. As you can see, I've actually shortened the amount of wire that was coming out because that was a bit ridiculous. I'd used the wire in something else before and I just um, decided to leave the exposed ends as they were, but then I, just, then I thought, well, it's too long, so I shortened the wires. I'd also, uh, also I'm going to mention that there is no capacitor between... Uh, between the microphone and the tape recorder because there's a, there are capacitors inside the thing that will isolate the DC from the amplifier so there's no need to add one there just to see if the battery fits absolutely perfect now Plug the microphone of the I'll plug the headset microphone into the little connector I wired up here. Something is definitely registering on the meter now. Now I'll just talk into the microphone and success. Don't know if you can see that, but the um the meter is fluctuating when I speak. So if we get any sound on the right, yes, we got sound on both the left and the right. So there's another successful experiment. Well, there you go. That shows you that you can make one of these work with a vintage tape recorder. Well, that just about brings us to the end of this video. Do some shout outs now to Cassette Master. Clyde Sight, Dr. Cassette, V Westlife, Bad Edit Pro, and AGG304. And, um, well, that's just about the end, so until next time, goodbye.